On March 13, 2020, everything changed for Doug, a 35-year-old manager at a supply chain logistics company in Chicago. He was told his offices were closed until further notice. Then the stock market took a dive, his 401k plunged, and several family members fell ill with COVID-19. As a father of four, in a house he recently bought, he was afraid for his family's future. For Doug, the glass of wine he usually had every night to unwind turned into a whole bottle. My alcohol consumption turned into a seven-day affair, he says. He'd usually top it off with some THC-infused gummies. And when sporting events returned, gambling helped him assuage his fear of an uncertain future. Doug was not alone. As stay-at-home orders swept across the country in March 2020, Americans got high, got drunk, and turned to porn in order to cope with the many fears and anxieties that were symptomatic of the pandemic. Alcohol sales in 13 states surged more than 10% that first month of lockdown while wine sales jumped nearly 9%, according to a study conducted by the University of Buffalo. The number of cigarettes sold in the U.S. also increased in 2020, the first time in 20 years, according to the Federal Trade Commission's cigarette report. Dr. Peter Grinspoon, a primary care physician at Massachusetts General Hospital and an instructor in medicine at Harvard Medical School, saw more of his patients turn to drugs and alcohol to blot out reality after the start of the pandemic than the years before. In a perfect world, when under STR, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to understand that while people are home, bored and lonely they are going to drink and get high. As the pandemic took an unimaginable toll on thousands of lives a day and brought the global economy to a standstill, it also helped legitimize the legal marijuana.